Hello all and welcome back to my channel Rover Turbo. In this video is part four of the sort of the two-parter on the Range Rover TD6, the bolt blind off of Facebook. So in the previous video you have seen that I've done some of the work on the brakes and stuff. So in this video I'm continuing on with the brake pipes, the rear brake pipes, the rear calipers and brakes and the under ceiling and stuff like that. There's going to be one final part where I completely finish everything and then take it for an MOT. So let's get on with the video. Right, so I've got it, the pipe all the way down to here. So I've put the original end back on, I'm gonna flare this. And then obviously I'm gonna thread it up through there and then join it back up onto there. And then I'm gonna work my way back, clip it, where it's supposed to go, bend it where it's supposed to go, and obviously clip it all the way along the back where it was originally, and then do the flare on that end. Okay, little update. I've got both of the rears in now, so they're all tightened up. And then they're running down the length of the car, down here, under here, around here along there down there and obviously one splits off to here which I've put the flare on I haven't put it in yet because I want to wire brush all of this area and paint it so it could be easier to move this out of the way and then the other one obviously goes up uh, and across the top there see that clipped in Cross there, cross there, and then this one I've got a finish. I've just finished this one off to root it where I need to root it and put a flare on it. But I've just been um, treating all of this area in the um, rush treatment. So the underneath. All of this, all of this. Um, I've got to go and get some more because I've run out. All of that's all been treated. So I've got a wire brush, all of this side. Caliper, take the caliper apart, the handbrake like I did on the other side. Hope the caliper's okay. Uh, wire brush all this down and all of this, all of this, all under, under here. Uh, anywhere it needs doing. I will probably give the brake pipes just a paint, just a, um, some matte black paint, just to give them a little bit extra protection because it's all going to be covered up anyway. And then, yeah, got to work on doing, because that one up there looks pretty horrific, doesn't it? So yeah, so you can see this height sensor here, look, it's seized. The actual ball is seized and this arm is seized and it's just ripped it off of the so this literally just to hold it in place but so that's going to need some attention and obviously that one's going to need looking at right so it's the next morning sunday morning uh because i gave up yesterday because there was just no way i was going to get what i wanted to get done yesterday so this morning i am going to do as much as i can on that till about lunchtime and then I've got the wife's car outside. I've got a few bits and pieces I need to do on that. So let me just show you what I've done. Um, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna, what I found and what, what I've got to do today, basically. So let me show you. Right, okay, so just to show you the brake pipe that I've done. It's not exciting, is it? Woohoo, brake pipe. Um, so just under there, again, I sprayed it with a bit of matte black paint across there. So that side's all done. And then this side, I'm just working on the uh, handbrake and the caliper. So you can see all of this, see how it's all gone off funny. That's the um, the rust, uh, the vac tan I'm using. Um, I'm gonna do the inside. I ran out of time yesterday. I'm gonna do the inside of um, the dust shield 
and I'm going to do the outside of the brake drum, probably the inside of the brake, brake drum, brake drum disc. And I'm going to do that matte black. And I'll do the shield matte black and I've painted the caliper as well, which again, I'm going to do matte black. And then all of this I'm going to do in stone chip. Um, and I've also done all the underneath as well. Well, I've done some of the underneath. I've got to finish that off. So the brake was binding on this side. There's a lot of crap inside there. So I've blasted that out with the brake clean. I've lubricated these again that I did on the other Range Rover. And then I've WD'd all of the, and I've just got to work the handbrake just to make sure that's okay. Then I'll adjust that up like I did before. The caliper was seized. It's, I don't know how long it's been seized for, but that's the pad. And you can see how it's just separating. You see how the pad is starting to separate where it's just got so hot and the brake pad started to break down. So both, both brake pads are basically knackered. So what I've done is I've ordered a new set of brake pads um, and the piston inside here has got corrosion. So the piston, um, it does go in and out fine. Well, it doesn't go in and out fine, but it does go in, pump it out. But there's on the outside edge, you can't see it here, but on the outs on the very, very end of the piston, there's all corrosion around the piston. So it's either 90 pound from Eurocar parts for a caliper. eBay is 40 pounds, or you can buy a piston, which is 13 pounds. So there's nothing wrong with that caliper. So I'm going to put it all back together with what I've got here. And then I'm going to measure this piston just to double check that it's the right piston. I'm going to order a piston and just replace the piston. So that's just the cheapest way of doing it. So that's that. So I've done all this last night. So that's all dry. So now I can paint that. It's a couple of little bits I've missed, which I've got to do. So I treated the, the diff. And obviously this has all been painted. I'm not going to do the dry shaft. It's just going over the top. I might do the CV, maybe. Uh, yeah, so I've treated all of this. Treated all of this. Treated all of this up here, here, all the way along here. And the same here. I've already treated and painted up in there. It just looks so much better, doesn't it? And then I've treated and painted all of this. There's a couple of bits I've got to do up here. Uh, as we know, all this centre section was all okay. And then I've treated all of this. I've got a couple of bits I've missed there. A couple of bits I've missed there and I've sort of didn't stopped on the front. I've done a couple of them and I treated that one. I've just got to treat the rest of the subframe and stuff like that. And then um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put that back together. So the plan is, which will probably make more sense in my head if I say it like this. The plan is in my head is what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I need to do on the ramp now and then do the rest at home. So I'm going to paint the, all the entire underneath, paint the underneath of that. I'm going to put that back together, which obviously I need to do anyway. The front brake pipes I'm, prob I'm going to do at home. I might, if I've got time, strip down both the front brakes just to check that they're okay and then, you know, and just lube them up and put them back together. I might do that, I might not do so. I've got to take the wheel off again to do all the painting. I'm not gonna get time to do that, so I'm not sure. So anyway, so I've got to get all the painting done underneath and uh, put that, uh, paint the disc, uh, put the brush treatment on it and paint the disc. So I'm probably gonna do that now, put some, um, I've got this stuff here. I'm running out of using this stuff here with a paintbrush, which is back town basically, super cheap on eBay. So yes, so let me uh, crack on with this and I'll get out the camera and, and record what I'm doing here and there. Okay, so a little bit of an update on what I've done. I managed to repair this 
height sensor, what happened was is the screws which fixed it to the bracket had just ripped out because the pivots had seized. So when the suspension was moving up and down, it just ripped it off. So I've lubricated the pivot points and then re-fixed. I've just done it with zip ties at the moment. Uh, it's only a temporary thing. It might end up being a permanent thing, to be honest, because that is rock solid on there. It's not going to move. But ideally, I need to buy another level sensor, and it will be a second-hand one, not a new one, because they are all crap, cheap stuff. So that's that done. I've also I've run out of time, and I've also run out of uh, stone chip. So I've done as much as the underneath. I haven't done anything that needs doing from the wheel arch side which i can do from home so this is all being coated under here this is all wd-40 so this is all being painted obviously you saw it was all the calipers i'll do separately you could see i treated it all with the rust treatment so and then obviously along this edge here and then along this edge here, and then the brake pipes obviously are all covered back over. And this has all been painted along here. And up inside there. And up inside there. I just think because of the mileage on this car, it just, this is spent, this is taking me hours to do, hours and hours. But I think with the mileage, it deserves it. So I did paint that in the end and I've done every single nook and cranny and up in all of the little crevices and um, I didn't do the axles. There's no point in doing the axles. And then obviously back here, put the original brake pads back in. So, and I've obviously painted all of this. I've adjusted, I've lubricated the handbrake, cleaned it all up, adjusted it, put, put the drum on, adjusted it, and put this all back together. So all I need is a new piston, I've measured it, and I've ordered that from eBay, and a new set of pads which are on their way. So I'll do obviously both sides. So yeah, um, I'm in the process of Three of the tyres are going down, so I've taken the tyre off of that one, put a new valve in it, and I've cleaned up all the corrosion around the ceiling surface, put the tyre back on again, so that one's done, I'm going to do that one, put the two back on the car, and then I am done for today on this one, the next job obviously going to be the front this tire is okay this is holding air this one has got a slow puncture which will be from the beading and the valve possibly so it's obviously just the two front brake pipes and the brake calipers so i've got to reset the the, re the air suspension has got a hard error so i'm hoping now i've done that sensor in there it was working but that was upsetting it because it was going sky high at the front and then it just locked out so i'm hoping i can just reset the code for the air suspension and that will work fine so i'm going to get on and do that tire put the wheels back on and then uh, lower it back to the ground and reset that code i think that's pretty much it on this one for today um i've done most of the hard work from underneath so obviously it will get um, an oil an oil and filter change a full service um, it hasn't been done for a few years but I just don't think it's done the mileage but I'll do it anyway but you can just see you can just see that's been standing so I think now the underneath is actually looks as good as the above so yeah I'm really happy with that a lot of hours a lot of hours it's not just you know why you know why you got to why brush it so that's 
So you've got to wash the whole car, so that obviously takes time, and then you've got to paint it in the wash preventative, and then obviously that takes time, and then you've got to paint it, and then obviously that takes time, so it takes three times as long as it could have done. So I haven't checked the brakes yet. Um, I have bled them, but I haven't actually checked them, so I'm still prepared for the fact that I may have to re-bleed them. I've only bled the, the rear, so hopefully it'll be fine. Right, so that's it for today. The suspension, I think that's in access height, I believe, but it says it's in normal height, but I don't want to bugger about with it because it's it probably needs calibrating. But so, yeah, it doesn't bind anymore on this side, which is good. So, but I'm still going to order, well, I've ordered a piston, so I'm going to do that anyway. Uh, I've done both the rear tyres, took them off, new valves. Rebeaded them, put them, you know, cleaned up the, because there's a bit of corrosion on this side and there wasn't, it wasn't too bad on the other side. Put some uh, sealant, uh, some special uh, bead sealant around the wheel and then put the wheel back on, pump it up. So those two, I'll to keep an eye on those, but those should two be fine. I think this one as well has got a slow puncher. As I said before, and this one I think is fine. So yeah, that's so that's all of the underneath all done. The brakes, obviously, the caliper piston. Uh, sorry, the brake pads and the pistons, or the piston. So the rear brake pipes are done completely at the rear. So that's all done. So it's just the two front brake pipes to do. So. Yeah, I actually, I'm, I'm, this is this is growing. Well, not that I, it wasn't growing on me before, but this is uh, definitely growing on me. It's just the mileage, it's just, you know, 72,000 miles, it's just, it just hasn't done. You know, these go on 200,000 miles, and just, just imagine the wear you've got on a 200,000 mile, 150,000 mile car, and obviously this just hasn't got it. And it's had a new gearbox, and on the in the service history, I missed it, one of my, uh, someone commented it on one of my videos is actually when I was showing the service book it said a new gearbox in it so a replacement gearbox put in it uh, I can't remember what mileage that was now but so a something about I don't know what it is about the TD6s I just I just like them I don't know what it is uh, and there's something about the interior I like the grey it's just so different in the wood the proper wood rather than the cheap stuff that people I just don't like the way they do that and the headlining seems to be bearing up pretty well as well so right as you can see there i've done basically all of the the rear brake pipes bled them up got them all all sorted so at home at the moment so next is obviously to get on with the rest of the brake pipes and the brakes and stuff so appreciate you watching i hope you're finding this interesting so I shall see you in the next video. Like and subscribe.